Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today we're talking about color correction inside of OBS. Sort of. I'm gonna get right to it. This video is for people who already know basically how to color correct inside of Resolve or Lumetri, something like that. This video is a specific way to get some color correction happening inside of OBS for a live stream or some kind of broadcast. This is not how to color correct. If you want a very basic color correction tutorial, I made one here. So if you don't know how to color correct anything, watch this first. Let's say you wanted to do some live streaming and you have a fancy schmance camera, something maybe like this one. Maybe it's a Blackmagic camera, Sony, Canon, not your typical webcam. You may have found that if you open that in OBS and start to mess around with the color correction filters, that they suck. They totally suck. They're just so bad. Here's a great way to color correct your face camera inside of Resolve and use that color grade in OBS. Let's do it. I'm here inside of OBS. Normally I would have a camera attached here, but my camera's actually over here with the thing I'm recording. I'm, I'm recording you. It, so I real quick took a screen capture of what's happening here so I can show you on the computer I record on. Here I have a still of my system running OBS. This is the face camera that I'm using right now. Wow kind of craziness is this. And this is the ungraded image from a Blackmagic Micro Cinema camera. And the technique we're gonna use here is really simple. First thing you do, there's probably a bunch of different ways to do this, but you gotta get a clean ungraded feed from your camera. You could just record, but honestly it works pretty darn good just to do a screen grab. It's super easy, maybe not the very highest quality, but it will work just fine. I can open up a utility called Snipping Tool. This lives inside of Windows 10. There are similar things in Mac OS 10. I'm just gonna hit new and I can drag a rectangle around my screen. Then I'll just hit this little save button and just save it to my desktop as ungraded cam. Next, I'll open up Resolve into a new project and I can drag this screen capture into my media pool. I'm also gonna need one more thing. If I go over to OBS, if I right click on my webcam feed or basically anything, I can go up to filters and here under effect filters, I can hit plus to add a filter and I'm gonna say apply LUT and I'll hit okay. And now it's gonna ask me where this lives. I'll click on browse and it will open me up to a directory with a few different LUTs here. OBS uses a really special type of LUT that's actually just an image file. And what it does is it compares the original image file with the one that you import and it applies color correction to make up the difference. Then it takes that color correction and applies it to your camera. So what we're gonna do is grab the original image, apply some color correction to it in Resolve, and then import it into OBS so it knows how to color correct our camera. So what I'm looking for is this original.png right here. And I'll just copy this, I'll hit Control C on my keyboard, and I'll just go back to the desktop and hit Control V. And that's just gonna copy it to my desktop. After that, I can hit Cancel and close this, and I'll just switch back to Resolve. Then I can take that original.png that I copy to my desktop and just drag it here to my media pool right next to my ungraded camera screenshot. Right now I'm in the cut page and that's fine. I can grab both of these and just drag it down to a timeline. And once these are in a timeline, I can just go to my button bar here and click on color. That's gonna open up that timeline here in the color page. Now I can do my actual color correction with my camera selected here in my thumbnail timeline. I can color correct this just like I normally would any shot. Again, if you don't know what the heck you're doing, check out this video right here, and I'll make whatever adjustments I think are needed, color correct it to my heart's content, and after I'm happy with how things look, all I have to do is apply this same color correction to this PNG that I imported. Easiest way to do that is just have that PNG selected, and then I'll middle button mouse click on my camera shot. We should see things brighten up quite a bit, and now it's time to get this back into OBS. There's a couple steps to that. The first thing we're gonna do is change our timeline settings. I'm gonna go down to the settings cog in the lower right hand corner. This will bring up our project settings. And here under time resolution, I'm just gonna say 512 by 512. That's the resolution of that PNG. And I'll go down and hit save. And now I can right click anywhere on the image and select grab still. And that's gonna add that still to my gallery right here. And this is really just a color correction preset, but if I right click on it, I can go down to export. I can export it to my desktop, that's fine. And under save as type, I'll select PNG and we'll call this cam correction and hit export. Now on my desktop, this has made two files. One is a .drx file, which is something that Resolve uses, but the one we want is the PNG. This is what we're gonna load as a LUT inside of OBS. So if this is our live camera feed, 
go down and select my camera here in the sources, right click and get filters. And here under effect filters, yours might look a little bit different, but under effect filters, hit plus, apply LUT, call it whatever you want, and browse to wherever that PNG file lives, hit open. And there we have our color graded image inside of OBS. That's pretty much how I color correct any camera inside of OBS, including the one that you're watching right now. In fact, if I go to my filters, I can turn off my LUT right here. This is what it looks like ungraded. And this is with the LUT that is built the exact same way. And this works for basically any source in OBS, whether it's a recorded video or a still or even a live camera like this. All works the same way. So there you go. All you live streamers, people who want to record or broadcast in OBS with a fancy camera, there's how you get some nice color. Yeah. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more color correction, post-production tutorials, all of those things, make sure to hit that subscribe button on my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.